I know uh, s some former Cavaliers sitting at home saying this is what I knew we were getting, but how good did it feel to get out there and really impact the game in, in winning play style? No, it was great. Um, I felt like I fit right in, and uh, you know, it was just fun. It was fun. And, and crashing the glass, that's what you do. That's what I do. Uh, that's what they brought me to here to do, so, I mean, what, what, what else would I be doing, you know? I mean, you've seen him a bunch playing in the Western Conference, but how... How difficult is it to bang bodies with Strongest player in the league, in my opinion, like, and it's not close. So, uh, you know, you, with a guy like that, you just got to be active. You know, if he, if he, it's almost like a, like if a, if a heavyweight gets gets their hands on you, it's a problem. But if you keep dancing around him and staying, staying on the outside, you can, you know, you can do some damage. And so that's all I was trying to do, just dance around and be more active than him. Both you and Jordan have come in, and it doesn't look like you're trying to figure anything out. It doesn't look like you're waiting to find your role. Like you're, you're playing. I mean, can, can you describe either the mindset or the attitude, or just why you guys have kind of come in and seized this opportunity right away? Um, all it is is just playing hard and making the right plays. You know, uh, if, if you do those two things, you can play. You can go play in any team in the league and fit right in. You know, so. Uh, that's just, that's just, I know for myself, that's what I wanted to focus on, just come in and, uh, you know, make sure I'm just out there making winning plays. Whether it shows up in the stat book, I don't care, but, um, you know, just deflections, offensive rebounds, charges, blocks, whatever it may be, that's uh, whatever the team needs is what I'm doing. Your, um, your tap out that Jordan converted for a three, do you see them out there, or are you tapping it hoping that somebody's out there? Um, I mean, when the shot goes up, the defensive re the defensive team sucks in to try to get the rebound. So I assume if I bat it out, one of my guys got to be out there. When Jr. got that, it's almost like a touchdown yeah. rebound. I don't know what to, what to call it, but I mean, were you just running down there as fast as you could to catch up to it, or? Um, no, it was a great pass. I don't know if he saw me or what. Was just trying to waste time, but uh, he hit me in stride and. It was easy from that point. There were eight offensive rebounds. What kind of effect does that have emotionally as a team, you guys and the opponent? Um, you know, anytime, you know, Adams was doing it for them early. Anytime you can give um, an NBA NBA players, an NBA team more possessions than the team they're playing, I mean, those I'll, I'll take those odds any day. What are you seeing defensively from this group, such an improvement in two games? Um, you know, I, I, I wasn't here before, so I, I don't have anything to, to base it off of, but... Uh, you know, like I said, there's just a lot of energy. There's a lot of guys helping each other, you know, making up, uh, scrambling around, you know. So if one guy gets beat, the next guy gets steps up, then the next guy steps up, and it's uh, the whole lot of teamwork going on. Larry, what about the spirit of this team? It seems different from what it was. Obviously, you weren't here, but what do you think about this team as a group now? It's great. Um, everybody's positive. Everybody's, um, for me, the biggest thing is everybody's just on the same page of winning. You know, it's uh, it doesn't matter if... You know, against the Hawks, Kyle gets 30 points, or tonight LeBron gets 37. As long as everybody does the little things to affect winning, I think nobody cares who gets the credit at the end of the day, and that's huge. You mentioned LeBron, and how does playing with probably the best player of this era help you and the other new guys getting into the um, It's easy. It's easy, you know, because uh, it's it's hard to miss a defensive coverage when you've got you've got somebody behind you yelling it for you, you know. So uh, he sees everything on the court, offensively and defensively. If you're out of position in offense, he can tell you where to go, no matter what position. So, you know, he's uh, he's been integral in my in my uh, you know joining the team, but um, he's not probably the best player of this era. He is. What do you expect? Uh, what do you expect at the queue on the other side of the break? Oh man, I haven't even gotten a thought to think about it. Sorry for my thought thing. Um, I've been thinking. I, I I don't know. I don't know. I hope it's I hope it's great. You know, um, but you know, I'm just my focus right now is dunk contest. Get back in first practice in the Wizards. You know, how, however they want to greet me is how they're going to greet me. But I, I hope it's I hope it's welcome.